Hey, welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna to do another video. Now that we're being all quarantined, well, uh, lately I've been painting some places of isolation just to show this moment in time where we're at. So today I'm gonna to do a nice uh, little forest um, in the warm tones like in autumn uh, colors. It's a beautiful road, uh, isolated road. So here I do some little bit of a uh, burnt sienna just to trace out um, pretty much what I need to start this painting. So let me show you what the reference photo looks like. I'm going to try and paint somewhat something close to that. Hope you all can see. This is what we're dealing with today. All right. So this is what we're going to try and paint. All right. Here are the colors on my palette. Cad yellow light, Indian yellow, uh, cad red medium, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and white. Okay, so let's start by using a number eight brush. And this is a flat, not a, not a bright, longer hair. Okay, because I'm going to make, uh, the reason why I'm not using a big brush is because I'm going to make a variation of colors uh, to start off with. So I just wanted to have a little bit more of a tighter control over the colors I'm going to put in. Here and there, a little bit, everywhere. And this is going to serve a purpose, as it usually always does. Make it a little bit more green coming down this way. And if you're wondering if I'm using any medium, no, I'm not. I'm uh, only using water, as I always do. All right, now let's start getting to the oranges. So I'm just going to use Cad Red medium a little bit of Indian yellow perfect so I used a little bit of blue to tone down my orange since blue is a complement of orange so I'm putting down a middle value okay so I'm not too concerned about the details right yet just um, just the overall shapes and color is all I'm really interested in. And yes, I am painting over some of my background color. I'm going to go around it too. And the reason why I want the whole painting kind of grayed down is uh, because afterwards the colors I'm going to add on top of it um, the highlights, should I say, that I'm going to put later on in the painting are really going to stand out. Because if you put everything like of the same chroma, then uh, things aren't going to really work out for you. Because everything's just going to blend in. That's what I mean by that. The colors are all just going to blend in. So I'm varying my colors. Let me show you. This is what I have. I'm still working on the same pile. I'm just you're working with the um, yellow, cad red, medium, white, and adding a little bit of blue from time to time just to grade down the colors. For now, that's all I'm doing, and I'm varying the quantities of each qual uh, colors as I uh, lay them down. I'm not keep putting on the same formula, same colors. Sometimes I add a little bit of white. Sometimes I want pure color. It all depends. Again, just keep it loose. 
And for this, for this color that I'm doing here, I'm using ultramarine blue, Indian yellow, um, and a little bit of crimson. And I'm varying how much I'm putting of each. So giving it this brownish green color, this will serve as my base color for, um, for what's to come. Again, don't worry about being precise here. Just lay in the overall foundation colors, what you think uh, the base colors are. And then we'll work with the greens on top of that. And eventually the painting will come together, so. Gonna make a little bit like a dark purple the reason for that is color harmony, basically, between the oranges, the green, the purples. They're pretty conducive to each other. They complement each other very well, should I just say. So I'm using ultramarine blue, a little bit of crimson, and uh, ultramarine blue, a little bit of crimson and a little bit of burnt umber to tone down that uh, purple, not to make it too purple. Basically you're just sculpting these trees a little bit. Didn't like the blue too much how it worked. Here we're just defining limbs, tree limbs and what have you. And we're going to put more of those eventually. Right now I'm just making myself a little road map of what's, what's to be, you know. And remember, we could go back over some of this stuff. And here I'm using a number one round brush. Because right now I'm not too worried about details really.
All right, folks, sorry, I don't know what happened, but my camera decided to cut out on me. So I just been going over um, the tree line with some pure colors. Here I'm just working on midtones and highlights on some of these uh, branches where I feel the lights it's gonna hit. And uh, so, I mean, it's a tedious, this is a tedious part of the painting where you just vary, you vary the colors a little bit. Going back and forth between the yellows, the reds, the For these darks I'm using ultramarine blue and a little bit of burnt umber and some green. Some uh, hooker's green. I'm just using cad yellow light and hooker's green 
and a lot of white to um, make these colors here. And I'm varying the amount of green and the amount of yellow. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see you next time on the next video. Now this was an acrylic once more. Um, it's an eight by 10 stretch canvas. All right, have a good day guys.